I am ace of the early November and some other junk. That's, that's good. I'm weird. I apologize. <laughs> seventh time here so it's always been really cool it's definitely a difference from the u.s but nothing like crazy it's it's still awesome it's still like the cool like underground you know passionate um people who come out and support these shows so that's really all that matters to me is that like there's that sense of you know camaraderie that you can only get in like that underground scene well the last six months i guess finishing the album that has been like a two-year process. We recorded half of it two years ago. It was supposed to be an EP. It got, um, the label wanted to turn it into a full length. And then I was going through a bunch of stuff head-wise and like, I guess can convince myself that I couldn't or didn't want to. And then eventually one day was able to. And in the past six months is when we really turned it back on and finished everything and if anything it's darker a little bit more angry a little bit more not angry in a sense of like screaming but like I think where I wanted to come from was a guy at the end of the rope you know or at the end of the like just normal life like every guy what you go through or human what you go through and it's like where is the you know where's the way out type of a thing so that's the angle that I hit it from, and I think that it comes through, and if anything, I've always put a sense of hope in old things, and um, I think this is the same, it has that, but just in a different way, in a much more uh, realistic light. I'll tell you, when you're a kid and you get thrown into this, and it's like, you go from zero to a hundred, which is what our career was. It made us very crazy. It makes you a little bit nutty in the head when things are really happening. And when you, you reach the top, like if you're on a, a roller coaster and you start to see the ground, that's when you start to get scared. And that whole trip down is like, imagine that in slow motion over four years, you know, it's like, what do you do? What do you do every second? And then I think for someone like myself, once you get down to the bottom again and you're like, there is a, something higher, there is something that I, a reason why I started, um, then you can look at life a little bit differently and say, you know, I mean, for me, this band isn't just a band. I mean, to every, I, I understand that it's only a band and it's insignificant in every single way, but for me, it's my whole entire life and to be able to see it from the ground up and be like, oh, you know, there's a reason why I did that and why I started it and why I did the things that I did. And um, once I realized that, you know, I, I wanted to do it again. When we had an opportunity to do radio, to do like what would have put us in the mainstream, we I made a decision to make a triple album that had no that would have no identity in that world and was looked at as a failure. But looking back on it, you know, it's like, that was more of me, you know, I look back on that and say like, I'm really proud of that. And that's one of my biggest highlights because I, to myself, proved that like, there's room for art, even though it's not good art, it doesn't have to be good. It's just the fact that I put that before what, like, you know, selling a million albums. And that may have shaped my career in a bad way, but whatever. That's a highlight that I look back on and I'm kind of actually kind of proud of. So, whatever.